All right, good morning, Mass Mom staff and students. This is Mr. Lon with your Wednesday C-Day announcements. Hope everyone had a nice day off for Election Day. All right, first from Nurse Chris, attention seniors. Reminder that today is the last day that the photographer will be here for graduation photos, okay? So let's get on that, seniors. A copy of the schedule is posted in the 12th grade Google Classroom. I know a number of you asked me in the hallway about this. I said, check the Google Classroom. I know for sure it's on there as well as outside of room 208C, Miss Chris, with any questions, upcoming events. This Friday, we have off again for Veterans Day. Very important holiday. Tuesday the 16th, students, not a holiday, okay? Don't get it confused. Quarter one grades are due for teachers, but essentially, quarter one grades are closing out. Well, it's not Friday because you're off on Friday, but for students, for Getting all materials in so that they can be adequately graded in time for submission on the 16th. We're talking Thursday. We're talking Thursday. All right. The 14th to the 18th is Spirit Week. And the 21st is the big one. This is why it's so important that students get their assignments, assessments, whatever, in this week. Because all students that are on track to graduate, that means passing the four core plus one more, we've talked about what that means, will be invited to the PBIS celebration. It'll be in the gym. There's going to be food. There's going to be music. There's going to be dancing. There's going to be games. There's going to be lots of stuff. All right. And all you got to do, four core plus one more. And students, as always, number one priority, you know, and my mom is to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. That means reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have concerns or problems because we are here to support you. Reminder about yonder checks at the door every single morning. Okay? We are taking phones if we see them in the hallways, in the lunchrooms. We are doing that. Also, students, there's going to be a surprise next week. A surprise that some of you will be like, oh, this isn't much of a surprise, whatever. And others of you, you're not going to like the surprise. You're just not. Mass Mom, fun and games and other stuff. All right, for Mr. Thomas, speed tournament update. Glitch in the Matrix. We're going to try to play round one tomorrow during advisory. Shout out to Mr. Blocker and 11th grade welders. Rafia Yeiser, we already know. Rafia, Rafia has declared herself the alpha welder. Jatswal Bayron and Nasir Mackey for assembling the Connect Four trophy. I like that. I need to see it. Soon to be on display. It looks awesome. Mr. Thomas just sprayed a hamster wheel with metallic gold paint that will serve as the foundation for what will also be a fantastic looking speed tournament trophy. Mr. Thomas, do you think it is a better looking trophy? Then the trophy I won last year, well, I shared it with Mr. Tate for best ribs. Chef Tim made it. Chef Tim does not have a welding background. Not that I'm aware of. From Ms. Linscombe, students, check your email. The Bomb Quarterly has made a poll for your favorite teacher at Mass Bomb. A two-question form was sent directly to your email, your grade, and the teacher's name. The results will be posted in the fall edition of the magazine. All right. Random math question number three for Mr. Thomas. Okay. When both bars have been screwed all the way, threaded depth T into the junction, the total length of the assembled unit should be no more than 55 inches. Write an inequality using variable T in the following format. Blank is less than or equal to 55. That matches the scenario. Then, Show how to solve the inequality and explain what the solution means in the context of the scenario. Get a thoroughly correct response to Mr. Thomas on paper or through email, all right, by Friday the 18th for a chance to win free for you Panther Cafe food. Free for you, students, not free for Mr. Thomas. The Gamers Club is meeting today, Mr. Lamumba. And 323, you already know. Sustainability Club is meeting today with Miss McLaughlin in 306. Reminder, 
the Mass Bomb Talent Show. We are seeking participants, talented participants. See Miss Linscomb in 617 with any specific questions or email her at slinscomb at fellasd.org. Reminder about Spirit Week. Okay. You already know the days. All right. Reminder about the pep rally, which will be on November the 18th. We're going to have a number of events going into Thanksgiving week. All right. It costs 150 PBIS points. That's how you get a ticket to the show. All right. Tickets must be purchased in room 427 during your advisory until the 16th. That means we don't have we have another week remaining. The thing that's happening apparently is duct taping me to a wall. Student versus staff volleyball game. All right, dance competition and more. There is word that another staff member might volunteer to be duct taped to a wall. I'm not saying it's a place of me. Okay. I'm going to take. My licks, I am. I'm going to agree to it. I already agreed to it. But there might be another person. There might be another person. Reminder about College Possible and the FAFSA workshop upcoming. That's actually on the 10th. That's tomorrow. Our 4 for 4, our Chromebook repairs, social media, holler at it. The Mass Bomb staff and student shout-outs. Double shot for Mr. Lon today, me. I would like to shout out our ninth grade student ambassadors for doing a great job of welcoming guests into our building on Monday. That's one of the reasons that we have ambassadors to do things like that, to represent our school. Also for the leadership work that they do around our building in the school community and also the leadership work that they do on themselves. We have a literal class for our student ambassadors. It's a really great thing. For us at Mass Bomb. And me, um, Mr. Lon, that's me. I would also like to shout out Tyreek Johnson and Jervin Fuentes for doing some maintenance work on my car. Gentlemen, you did a great job. Thank you very much. Lunch in the Panther Cafe is on me, gentlemen. All right. So I'll find you guys pretty soon, or you can find me. And the next day that we have Lunch in the Panther which I think should be this week. Your meals are on me. Just don't order the, the surf and turf, okay? Chef Tim, Chef Allen, please don't make a surf and turf this week, okay? I don't want to have to pay $100 for this. What am I talking about? Um, National Days today is the big one, okay? Um, it's National Scrapple Day. And this is the big one because this is the definitive Philadelphia food. Not a cheesesteak because a cheesesteak is made with normal materials. Scrapple is wild if you really think about it. It's off the hook. What is Scrapple? I love Scrapple. I've probably eaten 2,000 pounds of Scrapple in my life. Okay? That's probably an accurate figure. Scrapple is typically made of hog offal. Mm, sounds great already. Such as the head, heart, liver, and other trimmings, which are boiled with any bones attached, often the entire head, to make a broth. Once cooked, the bones and fat are removed, the meat is reserved, and dry cornmeal is broiled in the broth to make a mush. Or is it a mush? Is it mush or mush? I don't know. Okay. But I do know if somebody put a boiled pig's head in front of you, would you just go with that bad boy with a fork? Even if they dumped a bunch of cornmeal on it, you probably wouldn't. Would you just dice up a heart and eat that? No, you probably wouldn't. Or maybe some of you would. I'm not really sure. Okay. But when it's made into brick form, into mush form, we eat it. And it's a definitive Philadelphia Dish. Happy National Scrapple Day. I spent way too much time talking about that, but it was fun. We're Mass Bomb. We build the future. Have a great Wednesday.